The sudden and meteoric rise of artificial intelligence has given birth to many new tools that can aid us in doing our jobs more effectively and productively. Everyone knows about ChatGPT by now, but there are some other incredible AI tools that you may not have heard of. And in this video, I will show you five AI tools I use as a software engineer that help me with day-to-day -day tasks like coding, documentation, emails, note-taking, and research. All right, let's get started. Hi folks, my name is Utsav. I'm a software engineer based in Seattle. I have over 20 years of experience in the industry and I'm currently a senior software engineer at Microsoft. If you're new to this channel, my goal here is to help you get the best out of your career by mentoring you around five key pillars of career development. Technical skills, engineering efficiency, mindset, entrepreneurship, and financial freedom. So if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing and follow me at Utsavized for behind the scenes and monthly Q&As. Before we start with the list, I will just say that I'll leave the obvious ones like ChatGPT or Bing AI out of this list. Um, those are more general tools that everyone can use and by now everyone already knows what they are and how to use them. But just know that these are also useful tools that you can leverage if you're careful not to use them directly for your work where you could potentially leak sensitive information and also get yourself into a lot of trouble. Okay, first up we have GitHub Copilot, which I've been using for well over a year now, long before the AI frenzy took off. GitHub Copilot is an AI-powered code completion tool developed by GitHub in collaboration with OpenAI. It uses machine learning algorithms and vast amount of publicly available code to generate contextually relevant code suggestions as developers write the code. Copilot integrates seamlessly with popular code editors like Visual Studio Code, providing real-time code completion suggestions, including lines of code, function signatures, and many more. My favorite thing about Copilot is that it adapts to my coding style and learns from various patterns that I use throughout my code. This will get even more insane with Copilot X, the future of Copilot with the introduction of GPT-4 and code-aware contextual chat, terminal interfaces, and support for pull requests. If you want to try out the tech preview for that, you can join the waiting list. I'll leave a link in the description below. As a software engineer, you'll also write documentation within your code. I use Mintlify AI for that. Mintlify is a startup that develops software to automate documentation, but one of their offerings is a VS Code extension. This extension saves me a lot of time. This is actually the opposite of what Copilot does. While Copilot generates code based on what you're typing, this generates documentation based on the code you've already written. It uses AI to extract relevant information from your code base um, or specific parts of your code and automatically generates documentation for it, which means less time spent on writing docs and more time spent on coding. So let's say we want to add documentation to this value validate email method all you have to do is put your cursor in the validate email uh, method and then just hit command plus then as you can see it's going to generate a full um, documentation for you and you can do that for all of them just select the thing hit command plus and you're all good to go let's do something more complicated here so the shortest path one let's select that hit command plus and then as you can see, it can clearly show what's going on, start node, end node, and then it writes everything that you actually need. Um, so that's pretty cool. It helps you generate comments and um, documentation pretty quickly. And then this can eventually integrate to either Mintlify's documentation system or any other documentation system that you use to render out your documentations. Anyone who codes will also be writing documentation. I use Grammarly Go for that and writing in general. Documentations, emails, or technical summaries. I'm sure you've all heard of of Grammarly. Grammarly has been in the AI space since they first started 10 plus years ago, so you can definitely trust them. And they were also kind enough to sponsor this video. Grammarly Go is their new product that offers personalized generative AI assistant that has really sped up my process of writing various documents. Let me show you a couple of examples. So this is an example of a technical blog post that I would post when a new feature is released, for example. This is actually an example of my own feature that I worked on. Um, so as you can see, I have Grammarly Go installed in my Mac and it's already kind of highlighted some spelling mistakes. What's more impressive is if you see here, I don't have a fully written blog post. I just have a basic high level bullet points of information. Um, so if I select that whole thing and then I 
click on Grammarly, so I can show you here, it can show me suggestion on how I can improve that and um, write it uh, as a blog post without actually having to write the whole thing, right? Um, I can make it sound more confident because this is an actual product release, so it can easily do that. And all you need to do is hit insert. And that's it. Look how easy it was. And within seconds, you've converted your bullet points into an actual paragraph that you can use to publish your article. So responding to emails quickly is another way I regularly use Grammarly Go. So if you can see this example here, if I hit reply, the quick reply option is already popping up over here. If I click that, Grammarly Go is now quickly going to analyze what this email is about. So if you see here, Grammarly Go has already figured out the intent of the email and has given me some quick reply uh, options. I am kind of interested in it. And so maybe the first option is a pretty cool one. So let's click on that and see what it forms. So it's already created a response for me. It's thanked Orin, appreciate um, all of that. And then definitely interested in trying out. Thanks again. Uh, maybe I want this to be a little bit more friendly because this sounds that a little bit robotic. So now based on that, it's changed it to a friendly tone, but I don't want an entire three paragraphs for this. So let's shorten it a little bit. And then that's the option here. Hey, thanks for doing this. Um, I love the technology and would love to give it a try. So that's pretty cool. And all I need to do is just insert and that's right there. And that's awesome. So as you can see, Grammarly Go comes in quite handy when it comes to helping speed up your writing tasks so that you can dedicate more time to coding. And the good news is that Grammarly Go is free to use and to try out. As a free user, you get 100 prompts per month. Um, and I think you'll be impressed with all that you can do with Grammarly Go. Sign up at grammarly.com slash Utsav to get 20% off Grammarly Premium. The link will be in the description below. Last but not least, I use Genie, which is an incredibly powerful tool for note taking and research. With Genie, you can collect, highlight, and summarize important information from articles, research papers, and even videos. Um, it saves me hours of reading and helps me extract key insights with lightning speed. Not just that, but when you have to revisit some information later, uh, it also is so easy to pick up with the summarized notes rather than digging through the whole thing again. So here I'm doing some research for an upcoming project on whether there's any correlation between developer productivity and happiness. So as you can see, this is Genie and I've created a new um, research uh, project and I have a bunch of tabs open with a bunch of resources that I've collected, including some PDF files that I've downloaded. So all I really have to do is say I want to save this one from this website over here. I create a resource and share since this is just a link, I paste it over there, hit enter, and then it's basically going to create that resource and parse it out for me. So while that's working, we can add the rest of the resources quickly. So it's added a bunch of data here that's pretty interesting. And not just that, but I can actually drop some PDF files in here as well, and then it can upload all of that. So these are done. So I have a bunch of research papers over here, some surveys, um, as well as some other academic papers, along with um, other surveys and a lot of links about various researches in the related area, right? The best part about all of this is this is a long article. So if you want to kind of create a summary, you can just basically click on it and then it's going to create a nice little summary. It's going to work on it. It's going to create that. That's pretty useful. It also creates keywords, which are pretty handy. And then when it comes to the summary, say you're going through something and you find part of it really interesting you can select that and either summarize that section or basically add it to your overall summary and you'll basically add that summary along with the link so you can reference it really easy later on but basically over here, if you look at it, it's basically summarized each section really quickly so that whenever I need this in the future, I can simply go check out the summary section because it's literally summarized all my uh, documents and research papers I've collected and kind of scan through that. And if I find something interesting, just click on it and then it's going to take me to the actual um, article that I can 
research further if I really want to. Let me know in the comments below if you have any AI tool recommendations for software engineers. Uh, if you want to learn more about how you can use summarizing, note taking and revisiting to better retain everything you read, check out this video I recently made. Or if you want more details about Notion's projects feature uh, for project management, check this other video out. Please like this video if it was useful and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.